Hey, my name is Abby and welcome back to the Life Work Balance YouTube channel. I recently released a video on how you can use artificial intelligence or AI, specifically ChatGPT, in your job search. I described how you can use it in the pre-job search process, the job search research process, and then actually how you can use it during your job search. So I'm about to release a three-part video series on how you can actually do this, how you can execute this at each of those stages. So today is our very first part. Let's talk about how we can use ChatGPT in that pre-application, pre-job search process. Before we jump into that, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to learning exactly how you can use ChatGPT in the pre-application, pre-job search process. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life work balance advice delivered directly to you every Sunday. And I'm releasing two additional videos on this topic. So if you don't wanna miss those, hit that subscribe button. So before I dive into the exact execution of how you can use ChatGPT in the pre-application, pre-job search process, there are a couple of considerations I want to make sure that we're all on the same page about. The first is that you want to treat ChatGPT like a conversation with another person. You can't just say resume and have it generate a resume for you. You need to ask it a question. You need to engage with it. You can ask follow-up questions. You can ask it to clarify things. So you can treat it just like you would a conversation with another person. You also want to test different ways of asking the same type of question. So if you're just putting a single question into the system, and you don't try different iterations of it, then you may not get a, a specific response as you were expecting. So testing different types of questions with this program will give you different outputs. And you can be more specific, you can be less specific, you can reword some things, and it will likely generate a slightly different response every time. You can then use those different responses to pick your favorites or pick and choose from each of those different responses how you could combine them. You also need to be aware that there are tools that are in use that have been designed to identify when AI has potentially been used to generate content. So there may be some organizations out there that are using these tools and can identify when you have used AI to create a resume, to write a cover letter, to write an email, things like that. So just be aware that you don't want to use the output from ChatGPT 100% of the way. You want to use it as a starting place, as a rough draft. You want to tailor it to your specific industry, your specific experience. And while you may use some of the information generated from ChatGPT or other AI tools, relying on it exclusively could be a mistake. Along these same lines, you'll also want to make sure that you're checking everything that it generates for errors. This could be errors in the actual content, like the technical information, or it could be errors in experience that doesn't line up with your actual experience. You want to make sure that when you're using these tools that you're not just relying on it 100%. You need to tailor it and personalize it to your specific situation, your specific experience, education, etc. I also recommend that you request feedback before you submit any of these documents to an actual employer. So while this pre-application process may not be specifically submitting a resume to a job application or something like that, you still might want feedback from someone on how it wrote your LinkedIn summary or how it sounds when you see your new headline. So get feedback on the content that ChatGPT generates for you that you then edit and spin for your own personal touch. This might be feedback from a mentor, a coach, a friend, or a family member. You could even work with someone like me and get feedback directly from that professional standpoint. So enough of the considerations to keep in mind. Let's jump into why you're probably here. When it comes to the pre-job application process, this is kind of that contemplation stage. When you are deciding that you actually want to look for a new job, you're not to the place where you are ready to jump in with the application process yet. There are a few things that you need to do when you're in this pre-contemplation, pre-job search, pre-application process. Things like updating your master resume, updating your LinkedIn profile, doing some general research on the types of positions that you might want to apply to. So how can you use ChatGPT to do some of these things? So I have five example prompts of how I used ChatGPT to do exactly this. So let's jump into those. The first thing you can do when it comes to using ChatGPT is use it to update your master resume. So you can take your previous job description or your current job description that you're needing to add to your master resume, and you can ask ChatGPT to 
write a summary of that position or create 10 possible bullet points that show your achievements and possible metrics in the position based off of the job description. So I use this exact prompt. Please write a resume summary and 10 possible achievements with metrics based on these job responsibilities. And then I copied and pasted a job posting or job description into the prompt box and hit enter. And ChatGPT generated a quick summary of the position and then also 10 possible bullet points of accomplishments that could have happened in that position and included metrics, so ways to quantify the experience. Now I would recommend using this as a way to update your master resume. You don't necessarily want to copy and paste the job description itself into your master resume, but you may want a summary of the position to remind yourself of what you specifically did. And then you will want bullet points of all of the different things that you did in that position, the different responsibilities, the different tasks you were responsible for, uh, the different projects you worked on, and accomplishments. So ChatGPT can generate possible accomplishments, possible bullet points for you to add to your master resume. Now, while the specific metrics are probably not going to be identical to the ones that you use, because you're going to want to personalize these to your actual experience, it's a great way to get over that writer's block and start to generate ideas on how you could frame your experience from an accomplishment perspective for when you're ready to start applying to jobs later on down the road. The next way that you can use ChatGPT in that pre-contemplation, pre-job application, pre-job search process stage is to help it write your updated LinkedIn summary or about me section. So here's an example of a prompt I use to generate a LinkedIn summary. Please write a LinkedIn summary of no more than 2,600 characters and reference my tagline, my core values, and emphasize my coaching and training and development experience. So I gave it a very specific prompt I limited the number of characters that it could use because LinkedIn limits the number of characters for that specific section. And I highlighted the different areas that I wanted ChatGPT to focus on. So for example, I asked it to focus on my tagline, my core values, and also emphasize my coaching and my training and development experience. So in that same prompt, I then entered my tagline, which is we work to live, we don't live to work. I then also entered my core values, and then I copied and pasted the kind of job descriptions that I've come up with for myself from a coaching and training and development perspective, and then hit enter, and it generated this output for me. Again, you will want to read through everything that ChatGPT generates for you and tailor it specifically to your experience, your background, your education, etc. It's just going off of the information that you've chosen to enter into the prompt. So you'll want to tailor it, tweak it, edit it, modify it to be exactly what you are looking for. And you want to make sure it sounds like you and is something that you could have come up with if you had put in all of that time and effort. Along the same lines, when it comes to using ChatGPT to update your LinkedIn profile, you may want to use ChatGPT to update your experience section of LinkedIn. So here's the prompt that I used to do that. Please take the job description below and write a short summary and provide 10 possible achievements with metrics. Now this sounds somewhat similar to the prompt that I would have used for updating my master resume, and that's because they're generating virtually the same thing. So again, you'd want to read through the output of this prompt. You'd want to copy and paste whatever relevant information is needed into the prompt, and then hit enter. Once it generates that output, read it, edit it, make it specific to you, tweak anything that needs to be tweaked, and go ahead and copy and paste it into your LinkedIn profile. The other way that you can use ChatGPT to help you in this pre-contemplation process is to update your biography or your bio that you might use to send someone if you're speaking for their organization, or if you want to update your bio on a website or something like that. So here's the prompt that I used to generate a response from ChatGPT. Please write a brief biography based on the following achievements and experience. And then I copied and pasted some information from my resume 
and I hit enter. Now the actual output that chat GPT generated for me was a little bit too long for my liking. So I added an additional prompt once it had generated the first response. And that was, please rewrite in first person and shorten to half the length. So it took the prompt, it, or it took the output that it originally generated, it rewrote it in first person, and it shortened it to half the length. And then finally, the other way that you could potentially use ChatGPT for your pre-contemplation, pre-job search process is by asking it to generate possible job titles of jobs that you could apply to in the future. This is to just get your brain spinning on the types of organizations and jobs that you could potentially move into after your current position. So the prompt that I used with ChatGPT was, based on my experience below, please generate 10 possible job titles I could apply to in the future. And I went to my resume and I copied and pasted two different experiences that I have in that relevant professional experience section into the prompt and it generated 10 possible job titles for me if I chose to apply to a job in the future. So this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how you could potentially use ChatGPT or other AI tools to facilitate your pre-job search, pre-application, kind of pre-contemplation process. Even though I know how these tools work, it still was mind-blowing to see some of the outputs that it generated for me, how accurate some of them were and how not accurate some of them were. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas on how you might be able to use ChatGPT or how others could use ChatGPT in their pre-contemplation, pre-job search, pre-application process, please throw them in the comments box below. I love receiving comments. I try to respond to each of them individually, so please be patient with me as I get back to you as quickly as I'm able. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life work balance advice delivered directly to you every Sunday. And remember, we've got two additional videos coming out on this topic. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those topics in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.